get to play the Cold World War II beta. I am so excited. Let's do it. Remember your training. Make us proud. headquarters. You're home away from home and the center of your time here off the front line. If you're not out there in the field, this is your place to advance your career. So gear up, train hard, and get to know your fellow soldiers. We're well supplied, but you've got a lot to learn. Every man and woman on this beach knows this was just the first step in pushing back the Germans. Wow! I'm Captain John P. Andrews, and I'm Hi, here to recruit you to the U.S. Army Infantry. As infantrymen, you will experience more... Whenever I see like live-action people in video games like this, it just takes me back to Red Alert days, where the cutscenes were like, you know, Tim Curry and stuff. Welcome to the airport. Hello, lady. We are the most well-trained, physically fit, and battle-ready unit in the U.S. Army. Also, very humble. Okay, so each of the divisions, this is basically the new classes. So it's totally changed. The COD, as you know it, is dead and buried, and thank God, because change was necessary. We're joining infantry, and now it's COD again. So this is the new game mode, War. It's basically a rip-off of everything else you've ever played in a, in a sort of first-person shooter. We've got a game straight away. At eight o'clock in the morning, there is no hope for humanity. <laughs> so the War mode has us doing objectives. So the first thing we have to do if we're attacking is the Allies. Uh, we have to like capture a German headquarters that has some top secret intel, which leads us on to the next objective, which is to destroy their munitions base. And then we have to go to the next one. And you know what? I've joined a game late and there's 50 seconds. We're not gonna be able to accomplish shit. The war took years to win. All right, so I'm using the M1, the old classic. I'm dead. This is what the whole thing's gonna be, guys. Oh, that's a kill. All right, come on, boys. Let's push up Gangster Granny. I need you to get in there. I need you to win this war for us. So as you can tell already, the sound design is so extreme. Oh, that guy got it. The sound design is so over the top and like ludicrously extreme. Everything is, uh, is, is jacked up to like 15. You know, if 11 was the benchmark for wild, 15 is where we're sitting in COD World War II. Listen to that ping. Over-engineered? Yes. But does it sound cool? Yes. I'm in, I think I'm in France. I would assume I'm in France. It's the Second World War sometime during the 1940s wars. So uh, we're in France and we're winning, kids! So the war objective game mode right now, we have to attack this bridge. And I'm dead again. We have to build a bridge. And it's not a metaphor, we're actually attacking this little city. So in order to push on forward, we've got to build a bridge. Okay. I'm building a bridge. I'm dead again. So we're gonna change division. Now because Miles has sunk time into the beta, he's got multiple divisions to choose from. This is the airborne division, so he's got a little bit more sprint, he's got a little machine gun, and uh, he can basically put smokes down, which is what we need right now. This is the most war game mode moment you're ever gonna see. Crawling through smoke, hammering a bridge, and being shot in the face with a sniper rifle, time and time again. Here we go. There's two people building a bridge. Many hands make light work. And we died at the same time. Okay, let's talk more about the game. For old school COD players, it feels a lot like World at War. And that's a really good thing. It's really nice to be playing a Call of Duty that feels like Call of Duty and not like a shitty version of any other multiplayer game. See, I've got to do everything I can to help keep these guys alive. Oh my God. This is what happens. We just want to build a bridge. We have four minutes to complete these objectives, typically. Oh, you. How are you not dead? Like that guy. Oh, no. It's not looking good. <laughs> oh, he dead. He dead. We built the bridge. Move up. We built the bridge. We did it with like 10 seconds to go, and now we have a tank. I don't know where that came from, but I'm not going to ask these questions. Who am I? I'm but a lowly private. Okay, so now that we've uh, completed this next objective, we get a tank. And uh, the game's glitched, there's no sound anymore. You can't hear that massive Abrams in front of us. 
Oh, it's a Sherman, sorry, we'll edit that later. So the next objective is now to destroy this, uh, this enemy, like, munitions plant, where the Germans keep all their bullets. And we have to escort the tank, you gotta stay close to it, otherwise it won't move, because it's afraid. We can jump on the turret, and we can do this. And we can melt kids. I take it all back. So between all the classes, it's pretty much the same old COD. Despite the major change, you can still use any weapon you want with any division. So you can be the sniper guy with a heavy machine gun, or you can be the infantryman with a sniper rifle. But your character's like base stats are very mildly different. So the, uh, the armored guy, he's a little slower. He doesn't have any more health, but at some point he does get the ability to uh, be flame resistant, which is super cool. Smokes are out, we're going in. We're going in, the bomb's going down. Holy shit, there's a guy right there. Oh my lord. So there's lots of building in this game, which is really weird. In the war mode is specifically, there are certain places where you can build turrets, you can build walls, um, and then you can also like demolish those walls. But you can do that from either side. It's really odd looking. He has no idea I'm doing this. This is so great. <laughs> ah, they defused it, shit. I've never seen that happen before. This is insane. Oh my god. We need to get in there. We need to get in there. No! Crouch win! I'm not sure if that's a racial slur. So what happens when the Germans win? They shoot down your planes. And that's that, kids. We're going home. This is what the game menu looks like. We can also change what our dude looks like. Uh, my favorite has to be the uh, expeditionary dudes, who you can look like a Soviet sapper, who kind of looks like a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle from 1944. Or this guy, from Battlefield. Ah, ah, ah. Guns are cool. Like, I'm pretty sure the grease gun is being held together by duct tape. It feels like that when you use it as well. Ah, the STG-44. Tell you what, if Hitler had given his boys a few more of these, we'd all be speaking German now. I tell you that much. That one guy on the left just can't make up his mind. Come on, Mexican boy 45, get a grip, son. We're about to go in Aachen which is a lovely little town on the border between the Netherlands, Belgium, and Germany. About to rain shit on it. Domination. It's a COD staple. It's where you go to pad your KD stats to kills and death for you at home. You don't know what I'm talking about. Cool feature in uh, World War II, if you hold down the change weapon button, the guy looks at his gun. Ooh, look at that. Swan dive. Capturing Abel, or Alpha, if you're Greek. We can attach a suppressor to our submachine gun, which is a pretty cool thing to do, but what it does do is it reduces the range of your weapon considerably. And when I say considerably, I mean like, I have to put the gun inside him in order to do any damage. I don't know why I'm dead. Enemy recon aircraft observed. <laughs> oh, that's right, we're behind them. Sweet. Whoa, shell shock, bro. So the shell shock effect is also ridiculously over the top. If even like a grenade explodes on the same hemisphere as you, you're gonna feel it. And it's gonna rock your shit. <laughs> I have a care package, but I don't really wanna drop it just yet because I'm afraid somebody will steal it. So we're gonna run back to safety, like a coward. <laughs> and call in this thing. Oh God, here it comes. Whee! All right, it is, it's mine, it's a glide bomb. So this is one of the new kill streaks in COD uh, World War II, where you become the bomb. And that's not just like a piece of advice on how to use it, but really become the bomb. Check this out. You're a bomb. Oh God, it's hard to steer. Ugh. I didn't kill anyone with it. No! We almost had paratroopers. Mother. Okay, it's time for a new class. Let's go with the expeditionary dude. Here we go. Shotgun guy has incendiary shells, which means that when you shoot people, they set on fire, which is a bad thing for them. Taking Baker. <laughs> He's dead now. So every game has a play of the match, which involves you getting shot in the face, probably. Check this guy out. Oh, bro, that close with a sniper rifle? You didn't read the manual, you maverick. Let's look at our shotgun. Oh, nice, look at that. So dirty. You should wash your hands after touching that thing. And play it, we'll get a couple more shotgun kills for the highlight reel. We're breaking their back! 
Oh my god. Fuck you! Ah! Does he not know we're filming? Give me the kills! We have two shells left to get these kills. That guy, you're next. <laughs> Screams! It's time for Mountain Man. So this is the Mountain uh, Division. And the Mountain Division uh, is basically the Snipey Division. Holy Christ, what in God's name? That's the guy that killed my team. I'm gonna punch him in the back of the head. All right, fine. Oh no, no. <laughs> ready? <laughs> you know when I say ready? It means I'm gonna die. That's the recon plane. I'm gonna snipe it out of the sky. We're gonna get bombed. Check this kill cam out. So this is the glide bomb, and that's me. Glide bomb, Miles. Miles, glide bomb. <laughs> We're getting destroyed. <laughs> we just go down the middle of the street. We'll give the full enemy at the gates. We want a fucking piece. You want this? You two? Two in a row? Enemy at the gates starring Jude Law. Great film. Check it out. Another one. Incoming enemy Another victim. More around the corner? No. If you're one of those guys that plays COD exclusively with a sniper rifle, you're in luck. It's gonna be good for you. Because the whole quickscopy thing is totally back. Where you can just run around like doing this. Not even trying. You just get those like really weird close range kills where like people just drop dead seemingly in front of you. How did that miss? Oh, it's because I totally missed that second guy, but the first guy, I thought I was in the money there. Fall back, retreat! Can't win them all. So that's the COD World War II beta. Uh, as far as it goes, it's a beta. So it's full of crap, glitches, bugs, things that really need to be fixed. But ultimately, I think it's a really good thing for COD. So the maps in the beta are, they're fine. There's nothing horribly wrong with them. But at the end of the day, they're all kind of small. And I mean like, too small. And basically that just means you're constantly running into people, you're being shot from behind and you're shot left, right and center. And it kind of just makes the experience a little challenging. It's forced me to camp quite a lot. I don't know about you when you played it, but I spent a lot of time in corners, cowering, holding my weapon closely. I feel like when the main game comes out, we're gonna get bigger maps, a little bit more space to work with. My sniper rifle, when I zoom in, I won't get like a whole face. Instead, I might get like the choice between shooting a body instead. Weapons, everything feels pretty fun and cool to use. There was not a single gun that I picked up and I was like, this is a piece of shit, I'm never gonna touch it again. The M1 Grand fires just the way you'd hope it would. It's got a cool ping and it kills things in like two shots, which is really rad. As far as, you know, some machine guns, everything's just a, basically a, a reskin version of everything else you've ever played in COD. So taking COD back to boots on the ground is unquestionably a, a fantastic decision. No more jetpacks, no more lasers, no more kill streaks that turn you into a fucking robot, melt people with lasers and shit, and then, yeah. It's really basic, it's really simple, the guns are good. And as far as like this goes for esports, it's early days. It's really early days. And of course, like, I can't gauge the game playing against like Mexican Boy 44 on a beta. But when we get the ability to change maps to, to you know, set up our own rules, you know, everything is gonna fall into place. And I have very, very high hopes for the future of COD Esports this year. So if you missed out on the beta, boo-hoo, shame on you, should have pre-ordered. But the real game's gonna be coming out on November the 3rd and I strongly recommend you get involved if you're a COD fan. This is taking you way back, baby. Way back, like World at War days, COD 2 even. It's exactly what you want as a COD player, believe me, I know. I'm fed up with the jetpack shit as well.